Hi everyone and welcome to Sandwich Break. Alex will be your host today and I will be your co-host Suzanne. So today for uh, the show I kind of wanted to talk about uh, for my section, for my segment, all the ongoing uh, accusations going on, going on out there about uh, election fraud and voter fraud. So it's an interesting uh, topic because there is so much to choose from. <laughs> what else? On to another one. Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, I haven't heard much about. Have you? Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, um, not really. I mean, uh, Pennsylvania typically votes blue. They're typically a blue state. Why, uh, you know, they voted red this time is weird. Maybe I, <laughs> it might have something to do with all the Bullshit. redneck people who think Trump's going to change it, and then plus you have these voter fraud events going on, so you don't know if they're linked to Pennsylvania or if what happened there. It's all up to speculation. There's no proof, but we... We'll talk about it in a respectful, logical way so as to avoid any bitching, but I'm sure that will happen no matter what. <laughs> um, so what I wanted to talk about were was election fraud versus voter fraud. And there's a lot of room to choose from. There's a long list. Uh, why do I want to talk about that? Because a lot of people are going for recounts and things like that. And so Donald Trump is saying, well, I won the popular vote too. And because the popular vote is a source of contention for a lot of Democrats, liberals, and socialists, because we know that the last time somebody won the popular vote but didn't win the presidency, we all generally accept that Al Gore should have been president. And uh, so I, I think that's, that's just a pretty interesting, so that, that's just like a little bit of an outline. So what are some potential election frauds under consideration? Florida voters are suing their own state, ironically enough, uh, for a recount. That this is the state that everybody was making fun of like 16 years ago. Uh, I believe the headline was Florida. Do you recall that one? Yes, I do. It was my favorite. Uh, and I'm a Floridian, by the way. <laughs> um, I don't know much about uh, Pennsylvania and Wisconsin, but from what I understand, they're kind of up in the air right now. Um, but I know that, strangely enough, Michigan has halted their recount. And I think that's really interesting. Why is that interesting? Uh, Michigan has some pretty predominant Democratic blue-collar counties, uh, like Wayne County. Uh, I don't recall the name of the county, but the the one that houses the city Flint, uh, which is also predominantly uh, Democratic. Known as a Democratic stronghold. As a Democratic stronghold. And so these places are all apparently going through the recount judge says, okay, let's do this. And then on Wednesday, changes his mind and says, we don't really have a good enough reason to do this recount in the first place, so we're just going to stop. But before they did, they were able to discern that there were some major uh, discrepancies in the voting system, and that, strangely enough, on election day, 87 scanners, 87 scanners broke. That's weird. That's just weird to me. When's the last time they've been used? I know, right? Probably. You probably. think they would have the maintenance on them, you know, between the elections of eight years? Well, don't think for a second they don't vote municipal uh, elected office. There's, uh, they vote for judges and sheriffs and things like that. That stuff gets used year round. And then coincidentally, on election day, 87 of them are interesting. Um, also, to wrap that up, the CIA today says that Russia hacked our election for sure. So, it is proven that the CIA, the CIA has proven that Russia has hacked our election. And but they're they're saying, oh but they may not they might not have really affected it. Uh also uh Georgia has uh reason to believe that they were hacked uh by the Department of Homeland Security. Interesting. Uh so to wrap up my segment of the show I just wanted to say those are all some pretty interesting uh, accusations. And Donald Trump's response to all that is, well, I actually won the popular vote and that millions voted illegally. We have four cases of actual proven voter fraud on record. And guess which party they all belonged to? The Republican Party. 
In fact, one of them said that the reason she was voting twice was because the system was rigged against her. I don't know, what do you think about all that? Um, I think it's a lot of people who claim to be patriots, who claim to be freedom fighters, who break the of constitutional, uh, constitutional law. And, and it's funny how all these people in the right wing claim to be the patriots, you know, claim to be the, the people who still stand for the Constitution, but yet you have someone here who is breaking the cornerstone of American belief by voting twice because she feels that the, it's a rigged against her. And by her doing that, she's actually rigging against other people. She feels <laughs> she feels it's okay to not only ex, you know exemplify her constitutional rights, but take them away from someone else too. Um, ignorance and blasphemy. I mean, I don't understand how you can claim to stand for the people and then go off and do something completely unconstitutional. Um, going on to the election tampering with uh, Russia hacking some of our equipment. Um, so they're saying basically they released the pages the WikiLeaks and WikiLeaks released them to the United States and therefore them doing so influenced the, the election uh, in the way of Donald Trump and we all see how this has happened that actually um, Hillary Clinton was not guilty of anything that she was accused of with the documents and the classified information. Donald Trump's, uh, one of Donald Trump's uh, cabinet members actually did the exact same thing and broke confidential uh, Petraeus. classified. Yeah, Petraeus, Petraeus. Who, is, who also has to tell his uh, parole officer that he's going to be in Donald Trump's and cabinet. And had an illicit affair. At, with, with another member's, <laughs> another general's wife. Um, Classic. We have a CIA report here that says uh, proof that there's Russian intervention in the elections. Former CIA operative uh, Robert Baer says, uh, if CIA can prove that Russian inter Russia interfered with uh, the 2016 elections, then the U.S. should vote again. And CNN also covered this story whenever he was speaking. He went out to say things like, I don't see it any other way. And uh, the outcome of this is, is the most important. Um, which it is, because if someone has interfered with our elections, plus ample voter fraud that's been proven in these cases in multiple states, uh, I think it's fair to say that um, this election was handed to Donald Trump when it should have been absolutely given to Hillary Clinton. You know, get all the evidence. She earned that shit. <laughs> it's just the the overturning, in my opinion, the overturning this the power struggle with in the United States, the vacuum is going to be filled because you have someone as incompetent as Donald Trump being president-elect and all these ignorant people, including the alt-right, coming out to support him just goes to show uh, what kind of uh, oligarchy is taking place, what kind of Fourth Reich is rising, uh, which I do think is the Fourth Reich with all the things that Donald Trump has said and all the people he's put in office, he obviously wants to control every aspect of American life, corporations. Um, this is the beginning of corporate America. Well, not the beginning, it's been going on for a while, but this is the beginning of the corporations openly uh, controlling the government and not just behind the scenes. Uh, the rise of the alt-right is going on, which is, uh, I mean, horrible, scary disastrous, especially when people like the KKK and neo-Nazis hate Jewish people. Um, but one, of the, one of the things, okay, we have this guy named Jared Taylor, he spoke at a university recently, and he, he states and he says, equality is a dangerous myth. Equality. Jared Smith, he was in the video that I watched about the alt-right. Um, he, go he goes on to say the thought that uh, all races or equality is a dogma. Um, he obviously goes to say that he feels the white race is uh, better and more enhanced than other races, which we all know is false. Um, he goes and says equality is not equality is what's ripping uh, society apart because obviously that means that other societies and cultures are not equal to what we perceive to be our culture. Um, as divided as it is.
it's 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 a dangerous thing. Um, there's people speaking at a, at a political rally in a university, and uh, the guy said, "Hail Trump, hail this victory," which is hail Trump, hail Hitler. Uh, the comparison is open and obvious. And they they feel as though they are being they are being uh, oppressed politically. What do you think? You think that? Neo-Nazis, KKK, and all right are being oppressed politically. I think if there is anybody that should be oppressed politically, it should be people that are burning with hatred and ignorance. So yes, absolutely. I, I mean, there's freedom of speech, right? Absolutely, but, yeah. But that doesn't belong in our politics. That's biased, absolutely. We can also look at uh, what Vladimir Trump is doing to uh, <laughs> corporations that he doesn't agree with, like Apple, Starbucks, Boeing, and uh, why would we tear apart liberal companies and promote conservative ones, ones that fall under line, fall in line with Trump? Is it, is it not is it not obvious what's going on here? It's how he's lining his cabinet with people who are part of these uh, corporations that are put in these positions that are anti those positions, like the guy that. <laughs> What they put in for he, the EPA. He looks, he looks down. Yeah, he doesn't believe in that. He doesn't. He, yeah. So he Trump put a guy in charge of the EPA who wants to dismantle the EPA. Um, uh, the EPA is not right on everything, but I can say they've contributed to uh, keeping endangered species off the endangered species list and re-duplicating uh, the po uh, population of these animals. But um, we're going to get rid of that and draining the swamp literally means we're going to drain that swamp and put a mall on top of it. <laughs> so I hope you guys are ready for that. They, the alt-right also compared themselves to the USSR, saying that uh, they can't speak out like pro-communists couldn't speak out in the 60s, um, which is a weird way to go. Uh, Hitler hated communists, so <laughs> I'm not sure what that's but they're lightening themselves to hippies. There's yeah, a lot of hippies that were into that. They're sympathetic to uh, Breitbart. Um, Breitbart is a news source that's had multiple anti-Semitic uh, and uh, anti-transient, anti-migrant, uh, anti-everything that stands for humanity. Um, as long as this this whole thing of the combination of voter fraud, election fraud, and the rise of the all oh, right, let's just say it, the white supremacists. Why can't we say it? You're talking about oh, we can say right, we can say white pride. You know, we're not saying it's racist. You're saying well, you're using that as a cloak so that way you can say yes, white people are better than everybody else because we're proud of our race. Like, you're nationalists. That's what you are. Hitler was also a nationalist. Um, it's it's preposterous that this is happening in our country right now. And, uh, it's up to me and other veterans in this country to stand up to this and say, no, it's not right. Just like we stood up in uh, North Dakota and said, no, this is not right. Look what they did. They folded. They folded and sat back down. They didn't want to deal with veterans. You think they really wanted to piss off veterans? No. That would be the second American Revolution. But. What we got to do is we got to stick to our rights, stick to what we're doing out here, keep pushing, keep keep going out. This is the corruption of our country coming to an end, coming to a beginning as well, and uh, really starting to poke its head out. It's obvious. I agree with the CIA guy. He, he said that uh, we need to have a read the vote again. I, absolutely, I do think we should do that again. Even though I'm sure it's going to be biased against Hillary Clinton once more. I'm just saying I'm not in favor of communist America. I'm not in favor of uh, an ally to the KGB being a leader of the free world. I'm not okay with that. I don't know about you. Mm -hmm. Not okay. And then how, how do you feel as someone of the Jewish faith and, the, and heritage that uh, the alt-right and people from uh, Moscow and others determining the outcome of our election? I feel violated. I feel absolutely violated, especially as a woman. Uh, you know, it's it's hard enough walking down the street, but you you pay your taxes, you pay your bills on time, you expect to go to the voting polls and have your decision 
or your opinion validated, you don't expect it to get trampled upon by another country. So these protests, we need to bring them back because the alt-right needs to be crushed. We need to show, uh, you know, what's really happening here. Um, Olympians, let's get together. Let's do some kind of protest here. Uh, let's get it together and show them that the uh, fascist right is not okay and that our election was stolen from us. Um, the anti-Trump protests earlier were great. Let's do one more, show them we're still pissed off. I'm going to try to get a hold of some of the protest people, protest organizers in Olympia and see if we can start something. I know for a fact that December 19th, uh, candlelight vigil at the state uh, capitol, bring a purple candle, wear purple, do something. Purple it up. Yeah, purplish. <laughs> Uh, like to see you there. We will be covering that um, on the 20th as well, on uh, 20th of January, Inauguration Day, right? Yes. Uh, there will also be a rally being held at the Capitol, uh, anti-Trump rally at the Capitol, to show uh, our support for the recount and the electors, the Hamilton electors. You go, guys. You rock. So, uh, all this stuff being said, I mean, keep your ears open. Keep your uh, head out there. Uh, report back. The one thing that the media is uh, hoping against is people like us who's getting the word out uh, individually by YouTube channel, uh, not by corporate media, which is not really fair, but it is biased against us, but it's not really good work of American people. So, um, you guys, uh, Send me a link to your channel if you have a channel for Olympia stuff. Uh, let's do some uh, co-reporting here. Uh, get the word out because we're stronger together. Don't see it as competition. See it as uh, us getting together and defeating the man, defeating the corporations, defeating everything else. So, uh, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Tell us how we did. Constructive criticism doesn't really bother me. Don't be dicks. Yeah, don't be a dick. Like, if you have some points, you know, put some points, logical, rational points down. Just, oh, get over it, babies, because it was the baby that can't formulate his symptoms and uh, actually put some kind of accurate information on why. But, yeah, guys, uh, stay tuned for further videos. Uh, we're going to get them out there, try to pump them out. We've been kind of busy lately. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, we will see you guys on the flip side. Thanks for watching.